Welcome back. Today, we are looking at a very practical concern. Does BAM produce fewer rewards? But let's start with the data. Right now, BAM rewards are in line with Jito Agave's performance. Anyone can verify this through the Fire Dancer Reports dashboard. If you compare BAM against other major clients, it sits right where you'd expect a new block building system to be. And remember, BAM has only been live on mainnet for two months. There are dozens of optimizations and improvements in development right now that will continue increasing performance as the system matures. Recently, Fire Dancer has shown a bit of outperformance, but that performance comes from one thing, the revenue scheduler. It's a piece of logic that packs Jito bundles for the first 350 milliseconds of the slot, then waits until the final 50 milliseconds to pack regular transactions. It boosts short-term fee capture, but it also introduces ordering bias and delays other transactions. And the Fire Dancer team has been clear about this. They've announced they're deprecating the revenue scheduler because it has negative ecosystem impacts. It performs well when activity is low, but breaks down when activity spikes which is exactly when reliable, neutral execution matters most. This is the broader point. Short-term fee hacks that distort execution are not sustainable. They harm applications, degrade the trading environment, and weaken long-term health of Solana. Now, BAM's approach is simple. Use transparent, verifiable scheduling that supports the network's growth, not quick wins that compromise execution quality. As the ecosystem scales and more economic activity flows on chain, the rewards will come from that growth not from manipulating ordering inside the slot. And that's the direction we're aligned towards.